humans will no longer be needed? What super famous tech person said that? So Bill Gates has been on a few talk shows very recently talking about AI and how rapidly it's evolving. And of course, since he's Bill Gates, everyone he speaks to asks him what he thinks is going to happen. So Gates was talking to Jimmy Fallon, and he did say, humans will not be needed, and then went on to say, not for most things. So this is a profound and compelling statement that supports what I've been saying here on the AI Guide for five years now, that massive disruption is coming and you need to be prepared for it. So Gates said some other very interesting things in these couple of interviews. One is that he said, right now, great knowledge is rare. That great doctor, that great lawyer, that great physicist, on and on were the examples he gave. But he said the huge change coming starting right now is that over the next decade, greatness will become common. What did he mean by that? He meant that the very best medical advice, the best tutoring advice, the best legal advice, all of that will be commonly available to everyone because AI is going to become more proficient than humans in those areas over the next 10 years. So that's a huge change. That is why the people I just mentioned, professions, made more money than others is because of the significant accumulated intellectual capital of being a doctor, a lawyer, etc. That is going away. So that is a paradigm shift. And what he said is, this process is going to happen. So the question is, will we be able to manage this transition? And that is the question. So I've said on several recent videos that all the AI companies are in a headlong rush with nothing to hold them back to reach AGI and then superintelligence for better or worse. Bill Gates, in a different interview, supported that idea. He said nothing is holding back the progress of AI right now. And he said there is currently no upper bound on the limits to which AI can improve. And as I've previously explained on a couple of videos, we are just at the inflection point of AI becoming exponential right now, really starting maybe a year ago. But, but we're there. So we actually do not know how steeply the curve is going to get as it gets increasingly exponential. We don't know that. Nobody does, not even Bill Gates. Then in a different interview, Gates made what I thought was a very surprising statement. What he said was, humans aren't really made to work. What did he mean? He meant two things, as he elaborated. Number one, humans aren't really physiologically made to commute and go somewhere and work 8, 10, 12 hours a day and commute home. We're not really made for that, historically. So I haven't talked about this before very much at all, once on a video a few years ago. But I grew up on a farm. Basically, when you're doing farm work, you will go work for an hour and then rest, and then go back out and work another hour and then rest. Why? Physical work, demanding work, often in high heat, because the main part of the season is in summer. So you have to take those rest so that you don't get heat stroke and stuff like that. And to let your muscles have a recovery period. But this knowledge work that most people do these days, remember only about 5% of people in the United States work in manufacturing now, which is a shame. And I've talked about that on other videos. But we tend in this kind of office environment to just keep working, working, working without taking breaks. So to that extent, I think Bill Gates is exactly right, that we're not meant to work like that. And I can tell you for sure, I've talked to a number of people in medicine and physiology who say that working like that and being stationary and sitting in a position, and if you're working on a computer often hunched over, this is not good for the human body. So there's ample support for what he said. 
But uh, he had a separate meaning, I think, that he didn't explicitly state, but I think it was this. Human beings are better at not rote tasks, but the more creative part, thinking, making deductions, looking at all the evidence, if you will, and deciding what the best path forward is. Now, this is not to say that AI won't be able to do it. Certainly an AGI will, and especially a superintelligence. But humans are good at this, and that doesn't require the kind of constant work that I just described of the rote tasks. So interesting comment. And then a final comment. It's been stated in several books recently, what I'm about to say. Worded a little differently in each book, but the same message. AI is fundamentally labor replacing. So for this brief period we're in right now, where we have shortages of truck drivers, shortages of doctors, shortages of nurses, etc., AI is going to step into that gap and fill the shortages. But this is a defined limited period because AI will keep improving. There's no evidence whatsoever to suggest the contrary, which means that down the road, virtually all current human work over enough time, and a lot of experts say 2040, will be replaced. So Gates talked very indirectly in some of the interviews about this issue, and he basically said, yeah, some new jobs will be created, but not on the scale we're talking about job losses. So the question is twofold. How will humans adapt to this massive change that really started just over 200 years ago, now at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution. But the other question is, the entire society right now is set up on having a job and making a paycheck, or you have your own business to make money. But nevertheless, making money is at the root of all human society right now. What happens when most jobs are eliminated? I have ideas on that, but this is not a political channel. Some of my viewers have brought up one thing that is highly likely. But the good news, Gates said, is that there will be massive abundance. Why? Things will get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as more and more robots come online to do all the physical work and a super intelligence takes over all the digital work. This all drives the cost of things that we have to buy down significantly. And this will include housing because machines will be building houses at speed and at scale within 10 years. So if everything gets cheaper, you don't have to make as much money, but you still have to make some money. So how does that work? We'll see. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. Your financial support is critical to bringing you the resources that will protect you from technological outdating for as long as possible. You want to be in the small group of people that goes to the end. You want to be in that group. How do you do that? Many other videos I've made now walking you step by step through the career change process, but I'm going to formalize all that shortly in the form of a course. I already did a beta course, but the version coming is much better. So thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.